using a micropipette. The micropipetter, or automatic pipette, is one of the most important tools in the laboratory. It is used to dispense microliter quantities of liquids. Because this is a highly precise tool in the laboratory, care must be taken during its use. Different pipettes are used for different volume ranges. We generally use four different sizes, the P1000, the P200, the P20, and the P10. The number designation for each pipetter indicates the upper range of volume in microliters that is appropriate to dispense. Determining the correct pipetter that you will use is important. The most accurate volumes are transferred between the upper and lower ranges of each pipetter. So, for the P1000, the range of liquid volumes is between 100 and 1000 microliters. For the P200, the range is between 20 and 200 microliters. For the P20, the ideal range is between 2 and 20 microliters, while the P10's range is between 0.5 and 10 microliters. Volumes are set using the black ring or top plunger knob. The volume to be dispensed is read on the indicator along the body of the pipetter. This volume indicator consists of three digits which are read from top to bottom. For the P10, P20, and P200, the black numbers refer to the number of microliters, and the red digits indicate tenths and hundredths of microliters. For the P1000, the red digits refer to thousands of microliters, and this number should never exceed one, since the maximum volume is 1,000 microliters which is the same as one milliliter. The next two digits indicate hundreds and tens of microliters, while the red tick marks indicate single microliters. It is very important when using the micropipetters that you never exceed the maximum volume by overdialing the volume adjustment knob. This will cause the tool to lose its calibration and sometimes to become disassembled. Different micropipetters take different sized tips, depending upon the barrel size. P1000s use the largest tips, while the P200 and P20 use an intermediate size tip. The P10s use the smallest of tips. In order to attach the tip to the pipette barrel, press the pipetter firmly into the top of the tip. You will not need to fasten it by hand. Press enough that the tip is attached, but avoid using too much force that would break the barrel. Put the tip on the pipetter immediately before you are ready to dispense your liquid, and avoid touching the tip with your fingers, the lab bench, or other objects that might contaminate your samples. In order to accurately draw the liquid into the pipetter, it is important that you keep the angle within 20 degrees of vertical, never pipette horizontally. Pressing and depressing the plunger will allow you to draw liquid into the disposable tip, and then to dispense the liquid. To draw liquid into the tip, press the plunger down until you feel the plunger gently resist. This is the first stop. Put the tip below the surface of the liquid and gently draw the liquid into the tip. Do not let the plunger snap back into place as this will not allow for accurate volume withdrawal and may even introduce contamination into the barrel. To dispense liquid from the tip, depress the plunger slowly to the first stop, pause, and then press to the second stop to purge the rest of the liquid out of the plastic tip. With the plunger still pressed down, remove the tip from the liquid and then allow the plunger to return to the up position. To eject the tip, press the tip ejector button that sits next to the plunger. Use a new tip for each new volume dispensing. It prevents cross-contamination of cultures and reagents.